All right, hello, YouTube. So uh, we see here that uh, you're up for MITRE. MITRE charges, is that right? Well, I tell you right now, YouTube, it's not looking good for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I see that uh, that uh, there's some conspiracy going on where uh, Simon, Simon McFerguson was killed uh, in, it uh, looks like, June of 1994, and this is still unsolved, so you know what we gotta do, YouTubies. <clears throat> we gotta find out which one of your bastards killed him. Alright, so here we go. So right now, a prime suspect of one of yours is her. First name, her. Last name, Story. And this is her story right here. This this girl right here, this girl. This broad right here. So here we go. We're looking up... Uh, I'm looking up some things. So now we gotta find out who Diane is. <laughs> who this Diane? Uh, wife of the one. Uh, wife of one Eric. Eric, who was um, who was Simon's boss? Simon's boss. Here we go. I'm gonna watch this video. Diane is really nice. Yeah, I bet she, she is. At the Brazier's, organizes the Christmas party, that sort of thing. At the Brazier's. We have two kids. Really sweet kids. Christmas, eh? She used to look out for me when I worked there. Where? Christmas Time Land? Is this where you work at? You work at a place called Christmas Time Land? Is that what you is that what you do for a living there, Miss uh, Miss Miss Story? Miss Story <laughs> sounds like mystery. <clears throat> yeah, that's Simon's watch. She always pulls it closer to you, you know what I'm saying? Watch. It was One. a wedding anniversary. Watch. Steel. Mm-hmm. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. I bet she does. I bet she's got really nice big That's taste. Must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Glasgow, eh? Where is that? Is that down south? Is that New Jersey? Or is that more along the lines of... Uh, is that more along uh, up farther west maybe? Along the... Uh, maybe somewhere like in Rapid City? Is that uh, one of your midwestern getaways out there? All right, Miss Story. Let's see what else you got to say here. He would go to the pub. He had I bet his he would. buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. The pub, eh? We'll break down pub. Sometimes Eric, so also his boss, as... and his wife would come over for dinner. For dinner, huh? He asked return a favor. Dinner. Diane is a really good cook. Into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef. He got the recipe of sea facts, and I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? I have not, lady. I don't eat nothing but chicken. Chicken is a... Why you giving me this achievement called Have You Ever Eaten Fennel? I don't know what kind of accent I'm going into now, but somehow it's getting from point A to point B, and somehow I'm going to get you behind bars, Miss Story. You're not going to get away from me this time. You evaded the cops 22 years ago. Yes, I can count that high. Thank you very much. I graduated from fifth grade, so you killed this guy 22 years ago. You're just now coming in to get your book for it, and now we're going to get you behind bars, Miss Story. You won't get away from us this time. You gotta. Oh, you're playing the guitar. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, I can't imagine they'd be arguing. They get on so well. Guitar, eh? Unless it was something to do with work. Why you got a guitar? I was being too much of a perfectionist. But I don't know. Argue. You should ask Diane. Okay, Miss Story, I already searched for Diane. That's what we got here in the first place. Now, why do you have this guitar? You want to explain that to me, please, Miss Story? Why you have this guitar in the first place? All right, here we go. Here's the guitar. No. No, Simon didn't play guitar. I bet he didn't. He wasn't very musical. I bet he wasn't. I bet you were the musical one of the listen, bunch, weren't you? He was tone deaf. Oh. Tone deaf? Well, then how did he listen to your beautiful speeches? Plus, man, I'm pretty sure I know how he got tone deaf in the first place. Probably from talking to you for all this long. Oh, I know I'm starting to hear things the way it is right now. I'm starting to not be able yes. to sing along the opera with my yes, sweet my mother. Guitar. Well, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know whose guitar it is. You want me to play something? No, not really. But I know this song, I'm not going to stop you anyway. You're just going to pick it up and go to town on it. Well, well, this is going to be broadcasted the whole world, lady. I hope you're ready for this being online, because that's what's going. I bet you back in 94 you didn't think that you'd be online, huh? Did you? 
I would like a good ballad right now. How about a ballad I can tell you? Slap out the side of your face and get you out of my. Give me to finally tell me the truth. I suppose maybe I should be respectful and not keep talking like this. I may not be able to let you guys hear this. This might be copyrighted. But uh, this sounds very lovely. So if it is copyrighted, I'm sorry you won't be able to hear this. I'll cut. If it's not copyrighted, please enjoy the song. Sorry, for, excuse me for talking. Almost sounds like something from Shakespeare, no wind and the rain, the way away. Oh, that's lovely. You're a good singer, Miss Story. Well, that doesn't sound good. Well, well, what are we talking about? Are we talking about moida? Are we talking about sexual activities? Either one, it's not very nice for you to be showing on YouTube. It's a PG channel. I take that back, it's kind of well PG-13. What, what are we doing here? Is this a confession? Is she saying that she drowned the poor bastard? What are we doing here, George? Why are you letting me... You're letting all these crazies come in here and just giving you confession and not writing any of this down. We're just standing here late. Well, she is pretty. I know that she does have a good voice. Thank you very much. Oh, look at me, George. I can play percussion with my nose, huh? Does it make me a musician too, Miss Thoy? And then it gets really weird, so I think that's a good place to stop. Then it gets really weird? I think you're really weird right now. Singing about drowning in a good a traditional ballad. I got another achievement. Thank you very much. I'm just getting achievements left and right here. If I just keep searching for different things, okay, let's type in ballad. Eh? See what we get. We type in ballad. Get yeah, one. How about the how about the song? Hmm. Oh, look at this. I got one by just searching a song. Here we go. I guess you could call it that, but mm -hmm. we're both both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. Sure it was. We had our first dance to come back and stay. Come I'm back not sure and stay. That's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. I mean, it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was really? probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. Oh, you gotta, you gotta dance? What's life without dancing? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was great. I'm sure the honeymoon was even better, if you know what I'm saying. So it was a great grand time. This music keeps changing whenever I get back to my computer screen. Alright, so what do we got here, George? Okay, so we got a lot of things to look up here. We got Christmas. Let's look up Christmas, eh? What's Christmas give us? Just the one. Okay, let's move on. I don't know which part of the country I'm going to now, but my voice is just gonna switch from place to place. Somewhere in the east this whole time, I think. But uh, where exactly in there? Well, you'll just have to catch up and follow along in a bit, there, YouTube. It's okay. So let's let's look up. Uh, we look up Eric, uh, Eleanor, Doug, her, Simon, uh, Moida, Eleanor, Eric, Diane, The Rock, Rockington Arms, he Helen. We gotta look up Helen. Did we look up Helen already? I think we did in the last episode, there, YouTubes. Let's see. We gotta look up Helen. Yeah. Hey, check that out. We gotta look up Peter next. We gotta look up Peter. Peter. Okay, just the one about Peter, you done. Okay, let's look up Suzanne. Suzanne, know anything here? I don't really know the point of this game aside from just looking and looking at videos and seeing what's going on. I can't really log my ideas down or anything. I think it's just kind of looking at a story and then let's call it a story plumber. We got the plumber in here. Okay, we got the plumber. There's nothing in here that we haven't said. Florence, let's look at Florence. Oh, there we go. Now we hit the jackpot, didn't we, George? Did we, George? That's right there, Skippy. All right, thank you, George. I'm totally not to call me Skippy in front of the YouTubes, but you know, uh, you know, you're just gonna do what you do there. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, mm -hmm. was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born. Hannah, who's this Hannah broad? The midwife was there to help. 
I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife. Oh, is it? oh, hey, now, easy out there. The race isn't until tomorrow morning. Thank you very much. But I wasn't. People screeching their tires. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. I just miss what she's saying. By the cord. Yeah, we know. You'd be choked to death. I get the people out here racing on my street. The midwife told my mother I was dead. Oh, what the... What a but damn... I bitch. I don't... all this stuff in a diary. Well, I'm writing it down. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Whoa, 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 what's happening to my computer here? Eh? That's not my actually, that's not my computer, that's the game. George, what are you doing here? My, my monitor, eh? Let's get some goose to gobble the goose to ghosts in here, eh? Alright, so let's keep looting about this floor, 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 and then broad. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Twins? Wait, you got a twin brother out there? I swear that Take twin. away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Mm-hmm. Okay, so somewhere out there is your twin brother, your twin sister, your twin uh, beautiful old home. lady that I'd like you to introduce me to. me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing <laughs> nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. Wow, so you didn't Time even know your mother. I out of my window. And seeing her across the road. Who's this her? Her? Is this the story about her, Miss Story? Is it are you a junior here? You are you her story junior? Miss Story? Now you stop it with these ghosts. I tell you one, I tell you twice. George, didn't I tell you to bring in the ghost buses in here last time we were here? That's right, Skippy, they were here last week. That's not good enough, George. They gotta be in there again. Clearly we still have ghosts here. Messing with our ancient computer systems. No. It was just me and her. Eve was the name they were going to call their first child. Eve. They talked about it and were going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of firstborn girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. I'm sure it is. I'm sure someone in your uh, statue with, you know, your uh, kind of, uh, your, your sort of hotness, your cat's uh, <laughs> Yeah, sorry. George can, uh, sorry. George, George gets me all flustered he's standing next to me, you know, because sometimes he knows that when there's a pretty lady in the room, my brain just just goes out of my head like a flying rocket, you know, like one of those, uh, like one of those newfangled, uh, like one of those, uh, those newfangled uh, cell phones that you pick up and you, hello, you call your mother and you can have him in the car with you. After all, this is 94. No, this isn't 94. What am I saying? I just said it was 20, 22 years ago, and now I'm saying that it's 94. Get my consistency right, okay? This is called continuity. Anyway, let's go on. So we got the. Uh, let's see here. So we looked at Florence. Florence the Nightingale. Let's look at the knot code, eh? Just going down my list here. Things that I wrote down, little points of interest, then you're not gonna. Okay, how about code? How about we just look up code, okay? No code, okay? How about knock? Hmm? How about we just look up knock? Knock? How about we look up. Uh, how about we look up knockers, huh? Naka? No, no sort of knockers. Okay, you're not gonna show us your knockers. Okay, not today. Hey, you know what? Let's go on to a different topic. How about that? Let's look up dad now. Oh, you got some daddy issues. You got some. You got some daddy issues. And now I'm turning like I'm. I'm straight up out of the ghetto. This is yeah. this is Jimmy. Is school? Jimmy here. I want to talk to you for a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, in Jimmy. the front shop. It was sort of an extended family thing. My oh. dad used to work there. My mom worked there before. Mom, mom. Uh, I took care of paperwork, filing, typing out invoices, that kind of thing. It was a good job for a girl back then. I didn't work at Till or anything. You got a black eye there, ma'am? Quite shy, so I wouldn't have liked to have worked at Till. Okay, so you obviously do got some daddy issues here. Yeah. We couldn't afford our own place. Uh, so dropped good. out of school, went full time mm -hmm. with the glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. Glazy, I don't even know what that word is. You British people saying these words. Us and the baby, if it came. And this baby. It was a nice change. Time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. 
Uh, I bet one could even say full of a new hope, huh? Full of a new hope, huh? No? All right, I'll write down no. The whole thing was wrong. What was wrong? You said that earlier and you didn't even tell me what it was. Bags. Bags? What bags are you talking? Oh, I goodness. Door from our kitchen. You can probably check that. George, you hearing this? I think she's confessing she's again. It's just a place we put things we don't need. Cellar, like all the dead bodies from all the people that you I killed there? Mushrooms, there. mushrooms? You want to tell us more about these the, mushrooms? The bags were taped up. I think it was plastic tape. So what kind of bags are you talking? Are you, you are you telling us of how you stored all your dead bodies? Because I'm pretty sure the YouTubes out there don't want to know how you stored your dead bodies. The windows are really hard to open anyway. Yeah, well, you know. Stifling summer. Well, I can attest to them, my friend. Dad. Mm. Couldn't let the door open accidentally. Well, I suppose anybody could leave the door open accidentally. Cap on the back door. What's your cat flap? Put your cat flap back up. Why is your cat flap down? Don't you know that this is a family-friendly channel and you have your cat flap flying around in the wind for all to see? No, I was not saying I wouldn't enjoy that, but there's some children out there that are about three years old that are going to be watching this. No, I was talking again, yelling at you, and I didn't hear what you said. said it was food poisoning. There was something in the food they ate. My dad liked to pick mushrooms, grow them too. They said it was the mushrooms. It was hard to believe. I'm sure it was. Death caps. Death caps. They have a skirt around the cap. My dad taught me that. But I mean, the police had no reason to think it was suspicious. They lived alone. And no one had any reason to hurt them. No one had any reason? Is that what you're trying to say? No one had a raisin? Okay, so so we looked up that. Look at this. Look at this. Well, I'm just done with my first page of notes here, eh? And I still got another two pages of notes here, eh? Look at this. Look at this. Okay, we looked up Christmas. Looked up Christmas. Looked up guitar. Let's tell me more about this Hannah Brown, eh? Tell me more about this Hannah. This Hannah Brown. And then uh, we'll probably call it a good episode here for our YouTube, so we can go back to the Daily Live. Wow, we got five videos here. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. And now we know your name. It's Thank you Hannah. for telling us. Palindrome, yeah, I know you that. You use the same backwards as forwards? Yes, I know what a palindrome this is, lady. I'm not dumb. You think this accent makes me dumb? Well, you get the idea. Sorry. Dumb broad? Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Hannah Street. Smith. Sorry, it's Brad. It's Brad a sexist term. I'm in character right now, and I'm in oh god, I just pissed off a whole bunch of people, didn't I? Well, well, that's great. Okay, that's great. That's 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 lovely. That's lovely. Well, um, let's just watch some videos. <laughs> I know I'm going to have to decipher that later. Creepy note, we'll end the episode there. So thanks a lot. You, I mean, the <coughs> shut up, George. I'm trying to talk here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, that's skipping. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I mean, do yo, don't forget about me, yo, Jimmy. Why don't, J Jimmy, why don't you just? I don't even know what voice I'm doing now. You get me all confused, Jimmy. Why don't you get out of here? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, thank you. So thanks again, YouTube's for watching. Tune in next time for another episode of Her Story. Hopefully, we can finally crack down this damn crime mystery. The mystery is. The mystery is, I don't even know what I'm doing in this game. So hopefully one day we'll find out. If nothing else, hey, you know what? You talk to me, I'll talk to you. We'll have a good time. We'll watch each other. Maybe, you know, later on we can like each other's videos. Maybe get a little bit personal and make a comment on a video. Or maybe if we're really lucky, we'll share each other to our friends. You know, take you home to mom and dad. Hey, look at this video. Look what I got. I got the right thing for you. You know, I got this video. Let me show you my videos, my good wares, you know? So maybe, so maybe you come on down to my channel sometime. Maybe hit the subscribe button. You might see what you like. You might like what you see. And if nothing else, maybe you take some home, you know, to your parents, to your family, to your friends, and say, hey, look what I got. 
I got this new video, this new subscription to a YouTube channel. YouTube channel called Limbo27. This guy named Cory, he's a great blast. He's a good time. He solves crime stories. He's a real detective. Look, he's got a real notebook like a real detective, huh? Why is he not a detective? Why is he being you know, around here on YouTube and, uh, you know, doing some doing some acting things? Why is he out there being a, being a crime-solving detective? You know, maybe, you know, maybe put some few people behind bars. Maybe get to use a real gun one day and not shoot them, nobody, of course, but, you know, shoot in the air like a real cowboy one of these days so he can make himself feel good and achieved in his life instead of, you know, being in here, being goofy in front of a bunch of people on YouTube. YouTube, you know, why is he not doing something like that? But anyway, you know, if you come down to my YouTube channel, you know, you see some stuff like that. You know, you see some real stuff, and you know, yeah, you, you see me, I see we have a good time. So anyway, thanks again, YouTubies, and uh, you know, I'll see you when I see you. Love, 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 and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, hang tight, and uh, maybe I'll see you around. So long. What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. You're bothering me. Get out of here. Go on. Go watch another uh, video or something. You know. I mean, don't take this, don't take this personally. I mean, I do like you as a person, you know? I mean, I'm not trying to say, get out of here, I don't like it. But what I'm trying to say is the video's over. I can't record another video. I can't record another video if you're still here. So you gotta get out of here so I can do another video so I can keep entertaining you, you know? So, so then you can entertain me. You know what I'm saying? So, so go along, go along. And, uh, you know, I'll see you when I see you. I'll see you in the next one, you know? So go on. Go on, get out of here, kid. I'll see you next time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just miss? They were talking about Star Wars. I give up. No. I give up. I give up. I give up. No. There's too many. Spell the same. Spell the same damn way.